In this tutorial, we are going to learn basic sketching in SOLIDWORKS. We are using SOLIDWORKS 2018 version. We will make the part as shown on the left hand side of your screen. The front view describes most of the features that are contained in this part. A simple front view is as shown on the right hand side of your screen. It has all the necessary dimensions needed for making this part. It comprises of an outer contour, inner contours of circles and a cavity made out of lines. Essentially we need line and a circle sketch tool to make the sketch in the front view. We go over the standard toolbar, select a new file, select the part file and say OK. Let's maximize the window. We select the units as millimeters, gram, second. We go over the feature manager and select front plane. Turn on the sketching mode either by selecting the sketch option over here or under sketch toolbar, sketch. We first try to make the outer contour. Use the line command under sketch toolbar. We start with the origin right in the center of the screen from the intersection of X and Y axis. We move horizontally towards the right. We move upward in a vertical direction. Horizontally to the right. We draw another line coming down vertically. We make use of the inference lines so that we come down by the same distance. We move to the right to get a horizontal line. We move further up to create a vertical line up to the same height as for the previous step. We need some space to complete the rest of the sketch. So we simply select, right click on the mouse and say select. You can zoom out to create more space here with the roller on the mouse being moved forward or with the help of a selection window we have zoom to area we create a selection window to zoom out into the area in, into the selected area let us zoom out a little bit further we continue with the line command we draw a horizontal line coming down vertically we move to the right to make another horizontal line and we travel upward to create a vertical line an inclined line and then a horizontal line and then finally we come up with the inclined line which is going to end right on top of the origin so make use of the inference lines to drop the end point of the inclined line right above the origin and finally close the outer contour by clicking on the origin again to form a closed outer contour. You may fit it into the screen by zooming in and out. This sketch has some lines which have turned black in color, the rest as blue in color. And the status bar reads as underdefined sketch, which means that there are some entities in here which are not defined. For example, the line on the top here, you can drag it away from its position, whereas the line on the left hand side here is fixed with the origin, it cannot be shifted towards 
the left or the right along x direction. However, the end point on that line is still underdefined and can be moved away from its position. You define all these sketching entities by assigning dimensions or relations to make it fully defined. We go over sketch, sketch toolbar, smart dimension. You may assign the dimension by picking the line and then dropping the dimension away from it. Specify this as 10 millimeter or you can pick up the end points. You may pick up the lines in this case, you may pick up the end lines which connect the horizontal line. So the distance between the two end lines, the two vertical lines is the distance for the horizontal line. It's again 10. Alternatively, you can pick up the end points here on the line and assign a fixed definite distance. I'll make this one as 30. You have the vertical line here which is not defined. You may move it away to get back to the shape as we had in the front view. The other dimensions that we have are 50 on the horizontal line here. We have 10 on the inclined line here along the x-axis. So you may select the inclined line. As you move perpendicular to that, you're going to get the true length. However, we need the x component. We move vertically upward and drop a dimension there as 10 along x direction. The same with the other inclined line on the opposite side. We have the height of this line as 40. We have most of the vertical lines getting defined except for the last one here as no dimension has been assigned to this underdefined line with reference to a predefined line or to the origin. We don't have any dimension from the sketch. Thus, we will try to add a relation on a point or a, on, on this line with a predefined entity. Let us now try to assign the rest of the vertical dimensions that we have. We have the vertical dimension along the inclined line as 10, similar one on the other side. We can now assign a relation between the topmost point here and the point on top of this line as vertical as they are in the same line. We go over sketch toolbar, add relation, let me click on the drop down menu over here under display delete relations add relation select the two entities you have uh, the point on the top which is already defined we have on the underdefined point from the intersection of the two lines here and then make it a vertical relation this defines the distance of the point here and the line below it at a distance 10 from the other defined line we have a vertical height here between the line on the top there, line at the bottom here as 10. A similar height exists on the other side but we are not provided with the dimension. Thus we will use make use of relation. We may go over add relation and select the line, select the previously defined line here and assign it a relation of collinear accept this say okay we now have a fully defined sketch that is the outer contour for the sketch as seen in the front view and is being made on the front plane we have some internal contours like that of a, cir a circle and a cavity in the center those features 
are having the same depth as that of the outer contour. So in this case, we can also make those internal contours on the same sketch. If it were to have a different depth, then in that case, the sketch would have to be made separately, not on this particular front view. So we now go over sketch toolbar, select circle as the tool, sketching tool. We drop the circle here with the, the first method here, center and a point on the circumference. Drop, make another one on the other side. Both of those have a diameter 10. So we will assign the dimension. You may pick up the circumference, click anywhere on the circumference of the circle, assign it a dimension 10. You may do so for the other one as well. Or you may assign a relation. Since we do not have the dimension on the other one, uh, we do have that. We, we, it was 2, two by there are 10. So we can assign dimension 10 over here. Let's give a reference to the center point. It's now free to move away from its current position. It has a height of 40 from the base. So smart dimension. Pick up the center point and the line at the bottom. This is 40. Initially, there was no line. The Let me give a, since we already have 40, we can make use of relation here. We'll use the center here, add relation and the end point on the vertical line, giving it a horizontal relation to have the same height as that of 40. This needs to be along the start of the horizontal line on the top. So we add another relation here. Let me clear this. This is already done. Add relation, pick up the center point, pick up the point on the top and say vertical. And we have a fully defined circular entity. We do the same on the other side. We have already assigned a diameter 10. We can assign a relation of uh, equal between the two center points. Or we can do the same. We can pick up center here center uh, the end point on the vertical edge on the opposite side make it horizontal I accept this and then we have a point on the top we select the point on the top center point and then say vertical to constrain it and fully define the two circles then we have the internal cavity which is formed from lines. You can select the line under sketch toolbar. Draw a horizontal line, a vertical line coming downward, horizontal line to the right, vertical line moving upward, horizontal line towards the right side. We come down along a vertical line and then going all the way to the left in a horizontal manner until you reach this, the point below the starting of this sketch we go all the way up to close this contour right click somewhere on the screen and say select we try to give the dimensions and constrain this with some relations to get it to the true shape smart dimension we have been given this distance as 10 distance between the two vertical ends or the horizontal line there in the middle as 10. The last step also has a width of 10. The height in the middle here is 5. You have the overall height as 10. The two lines here on the top are at the same level so we can assign a relation, add relation. Pick up the line on the top, the line on the top on the other side and give a relation of collinear. We got the relation 
added on the top here as collinear on top of those two lines. The whole sketch is one unit which is free to slide across the x-axis or if you hold one of the word, uh, horizontal lines it is also moving along the y direction. It needs to be constrained by giving the rest of the dimensions. You have smart dimensions. This horizontal line is at a height of 15 from the bottom. This way you have constrained the internal sketch along the y direction. All these horizontal lines they have got defined. However, the vertical lines are still free to float. That can be fixed or defined by giving some relations. You have a point, you have a line here, you have another line. So they are at the same distance uh, 20 from the left edge. So you can give a relation of collinearity or you may pick up the points, the bottom point of this line, the point on top of the step and then give a vertical relation or you may use the symmetry relation. Since it is in the center of the part, we make use of uh, the symmetry. We draw a center line right in the middle of the part in a, as a vertical line. Define this by assigning a symmetry relation with the outer contour, lines from the outer contour. You have uh, the, the center line selected. We add the left line and the right line from the auto contour we go down and then select symmetric so we have the line right in the middle here of the two extreme lines from the auto contour we do a similar relation on the inner cavity here we have the line from the outer end the center line and the line from the center cap uh, from the inner contour assign a relation of symmetry accept we now have the outer contour and the in inner contours of circles and the one uh, with the line this is a two dimensional sketch if we wish to add material into the area bounded by the outer contour we go over ex features and in it you have extruded boss or base we select this you have uh, the orientation being changed you are now looking at it in uh, isometric or trimetric uh, orientation where you are able to see all the three axes x y and z it is being pulled out along the positive z direction by 10 millimeter we may give this value in the feature manager there as 20 to extrude it out in the third dimension by 20 millimeter and accept this we may reverse the direction to move it in the opposite direction or keep it in the positive side as plus 20 That completes basic sketching one, SOLIDWORKS. We'll, we will continue further with basic sketching two in our next tutorial.